Hi everyone, we're going to make a bowling pin, so I press X to delete. We're going to press N to open up this window and we choose background images. We're going to add an image and this will be displayed in all views. So we open up, going to D, Blender, Bowling Pin, like that, and we download the pin. Now to make it is to see. Uh, we go to here, we choose Paper Sky, and we open up a texture, which will be an image or a movie. And we open up the same file, so the bowling pin again, open that image, and we're going to put over here horizontal. Now, to see the view, we press 7. It does not appear, so press 8, 7. It takes some time, so if you switch on from every view to another view, at a certain point, press 7 again, and it pops up. So everything is OK. Now we're going to add a curve, busy, and it's, it's positioned over there. So I want over here that it is 2D, not 3D. And we're going to edit mode, so click on edit mode. To click one of these points, right click on the center, and you can move it up. In on the right side, you see over here the position of uh, of this point. So going to position it rather correctly on top of the bowling pin. So it is rather okay, in y direction okay, in z direction zero. Now we're going to move that one, just right click on the middle of that, bring it up, move it aside until somewhere over here, and press R to rotate. Okay, um, we, for the moment we leave what it is, click on that one, press R to rotate, and make that one flat, straight like this. Now, right click on that one and you press R and you can rotate, you see what is happening. Now you want to make this, this a little more, you can choose, right click on that one and you can play around with it. Now, before we do that, we're going to add a few points extra and we're going to add three extra points. To do that, we press control key and we press the left mouse key. Somewhere over here one point, somewhere over there one point, and underneath a point. Okay, now we can uh, position everything like this again. I mean, how to, to move that around is pressing the shift button and the middle mouse key, and you can move it up and down. So right click on that one, you can move it up again, and a little to the right. Okay, up a little bit. This is not correctly, so if, if you want it more like that, or less like that, move it up and down. So you make your curve very nice to the shape that we want. So this, is, this point is looking okay, but that point is not looking okay. So we're going to move it a little bit like that. Press R to rotate. Something like this. And we're going to position that underneath, like that. Press R again to rotate it looking flat. So why do you get that? It is because this one is too deep, so right click on that one. And we should move it this way. So we're going to change from global to normal. And now you can bring it up to something like that. Now, going to reshape it, so this point should be more narrow to that one like that so this radius is too big so reduce that one you should make give it like that right click on that one and you move it aside a bit so it's play a little bit around with it until you get the shape that you think is looking okay this is not looking through what i want so less that a little more up this is a little more thicker and this is a little more thinner and this point should be a little more to that point 
okay this is looking like it should be okay when this is done we go back to uh, object mode and we're going to press alt c while the cursor is on the screen and we switch mesh from curve we select that one now everything is ready to make it round and we go to tools we're going to add and we choose screw on the generate click that one the axis we want to rotate it is the y axis this first of all we choose y we let it be 360 degrees so this is good but i want the steps that i want to see around 50 and the rendered one also to be 50. if you want it more precise then you choose for rendering more okay we press apply and we open up again in edit mode now what i want to do i want to have two red over here and two red over there to do that we're going to give the basic color and the basic color is new and we're going to click on that one with the left mouse click and we say white we give it a maximum intensity and on the specular also maximum and now we're going to add the, the second color and therefore we choose plus okay add new color click on left click on that one and say red choose over here the red color like you want maximum intensity and maximum specular and now we're going to say where the red should be so to do that we're going to use face selection we right click on the point and we hold down the alt button and click on the one next to it with the right mouse click to add another one press alt and shift and select for instance that one you wanted the other ones right click on that one and right click on that one now you have the two selected and you want to say i want it in red select red and say assign and it is done now uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the camera in the correct position and put the lightning in the correct position to do that we're going to select the camera first so just left right click on that one we're going to lock the camera view over here and we press zero on the name keyboard while the cursor is on the screen like this now we're going to position it where we want i want it more looking like a wine glass something like this okay so this is looking okay unlock the camera like that and press zero when your cursor is on the screen okay we're going to position the lightning so to do that we press another one uh, we make another one and uh, we're going to press shift d and position it somewhere over there okay i think it's looking okay yeah and i don't want the other one in the background so underneath we're going to say under background image i don't want to see anything the paper sky i don't want to see that you can say also I want to see something else i'm going to explain that later on so we're going to render it and you're going to see okay i've forgotten one excuse me so we go back again uh, this is the rendering paper sky i don't want to see and over here i don't want to see any image even horizontal even vertical now if i render you will see that i get this one like i want if you want to be the paper sky to be blue you go back to the, over there you say paper sky select over here sorry select over here make it a little more shiny and say okay i want it in light green if you render now you will see a light green background with the bowling pin in the front if you like what you see please subscribe uh, I've got another clue, clue if you don't want to see the lamps we have chosen so click off these are for not seeing without rendering and these are for not seeing within the rendering so if I render now you won't see anything it's black so if I want to see it I go over here and I say uh, environment lighting if I render now you get an equal lightning around uh, it's not that correct because you have not that shiny and 
like it was so if i want to go back i say okay i don't want that i want these two be rendered and i got back my picture like i wanted thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see this is cool beasts